what will the coach do in a situation like this he can gamble he can keep his best man on the floor or he can take him out reserve him for later on but then again that lead might balloon let's see what coach Orly Castello will do last shot coming from Manny Victorino that was his 14th point and we have another turnover good cover by Pearson switching over bumping him is Torrente from the side it is Pearson now who has been zeroing into the basket he's got 20 points made his first 12 during the first half all in the first quarter <laughs> you know Willie Pearson reminds of machine huh? motion machine I mean he just doesn't stop he takes those shots he runs back and forth he blocks he rebounds offensively what a player and Big Ricky hands. Brown yes Victorino got distracted by Sanchez King. The foul goal against Abe King. That will be his third personal Sanchez. foul. A two-man substitution from Costello. Sanchez and Kidaben will be pulled out. And we have the return of J.B. Yango and Padim Israel. With 10 minutes and 31 seconds here in the fourth quarter, a timeout has been asked by Coach Baby the Lupin. Pioneer Epoxy. Mas matibay ang kapit. Maasaan sa maraming gamit. During the break, we have some changes during the lineup. Uh -huh. We've got Willie Henry Lau, who's coming also, aside from uh, Padim Israel and J.B. Yango. So it was a three-man substitution, actually, by Coach Orly Castello. Maybe he wants to give his other players a rest. They've been playing really hard. Pearson and Victorino trying to trap and give no room to J.B. Yango, but J.B. comes up with a foul from Pearson. That'll be Willie's second personal foul. And you know, Pingo, we've really got to commend the referees now. They're doing a super uh, job of this game. Referees Willie Mateo, Ronnie Besabe, and uh, referee Ting Cruz. Boy, so far they've really got this game under control and they're calling very good uh, calls. You know, they're in condition because the game has been fast and furious and they've been running up and down without uh, changing the beat. You bet. It's no joke to be a referee now eh, in the Pro League because you've got to be in shape. You keep on running up and down. No substitutes. Not like the players. They can rest on the bench. Shot blocked by Victorino. But second efforts and good determination coming from J.B. Yango. Good substitution on the part of Castello. Yes. It's now a game really of, co of both coaches huh? strategy wise Castello came up with his three man substitution now maybe coach maybe the Lupin will want to come in with his own substitutions Victorino. yes Victorino rests we have Abbe King coming in and boy Willie Pearson and Ricky Brown really are extending themselves here we have another substitution this time from coach maybe the Lupin Manan Salas withdrawn and we have the return of Alan Lohr. Now bear in mind that Alan Lohr is playing with four personal fouls. And in case you're wondering what happened to Kidabin, if you just tuned in, well, Kidabin is sitting it out because of five personal fouls. Obalde stops on a dime. And you know, like you were just saying a while ago, Pingoy, Kidabin has got five fouls. Sometimes when you know that your best man is not there on the floor, you try harder. And that's exactly what Tandwa is doing right now. Abbe King sails for the offensive rebound and through his 14th point and we have a foul. Foul Pearson. And Pearson continues to hustle. That's okay. His third personal foul and Coach Baby D gives him a big hand. Yes, but look at this, huh? Five team fouls. Pingo in nine minutes remaining in the third quarter. This may really go against them later on. Five team fouls carried by Great Taste Coffee to only one from Tandwai Ram Makers. At the wings, it's Padim. Padim can shoot. Not a shake of banal. A little bit strong. Here's Ricardo Brown. Good foul to give up because uh, Ricky Brown had the baseline there. There was a switch, but not a very good switch at that. But then the foul on Tito Varela. Good foul. It's only the second team foul. That's his first one. Second team foul by Tandwai Ram Makers. Pearson from the corner. <laughs> They've been alternating. Wow. 22 points now to the credit of Pearson. After making 12 during the first quarter, adding another 10. The third quarter belonging to Ricardo Brown. 24 big points, five rainbow hits. His ball, good hustle by Henry Lau. They've got five on the shot clock. And again, <laughs> the old pro. Oh, it's gold. What a spin, huh? He did that all by himself. 
There were two or three defenders there, but Freddy said, I don't care, I'm going to get my two points. Comalde now 20 points to his credit, posting low, Abe King. And time, it's going to be a three-point play for Abe King. He too has got that look of determination. They do the first personal foul, only the first against Padim Israel. Watch this move, good fake, up he goes. Abe King now with a three-point play. Yes. What Padim could have done there when Abe King got the ball down in the paint. He's such a uh, strong offensive player, so maybe Padim should have fouled him already, not let him go for the basket. Anyway, like we said, they only have uh, three team fouls at this moment, including that foul of Padim. Well, speaking of Abbe King, prior to tonight's game, he's been averaging 7.2 rebounds per game, but tonight he already has 12 rebounds, 5 and 7. And we have a foul, it's going to be called against Hubalde, that will be his second, an offensive foul called against Yango, yes. it yes. is not Freddy Hubalde. No, it is J.B. Yango, that could have gone either way, but the thing is, J.B. Yango really gave his shoulder to Alolor, so that could have been a very good call by the referee there. It is 88-83 for Great Days Coffee. Here's Ricardo Brown, hand pass going to Abbe King, does not complete the play. Here is Obalde, looking left and right. Varela, it's soccer time, football time. And you know, Gidabin may have to come into the game, seven minutes, seven seconds remaining. I think it's Gidabin time, Pingoy. Well, Abbe Gidabin is such a class A pro, he knows how to behave, playing with five personal fouls. They've got Obalde covered. But Alolor hit him in the arm. That'll be the fifth personal against Alolor. And here is the return, as you anticipated. Kidaben yes. is back in the game, and Yango will return to the bench. Yes, they'll need his defensive and offensive rebounding, definitely. They're down by five points, and he's shooting to inside. He's got, uh, there, you see that in slow-mo, the foul committed on Hubalde. Wow. Important shots, foul shots here. Freddy Hubalde missing. He's really been playing most of the game, and he's really tired now. Made nine points during the second quarter, another seven in the third, and that was his fifth point here in the fourth quarter for a total of 21. Okay, Dabin is back in the game, playing with five personal fouls. He's pulled down 11 rebounds, 18 points, good hit. It is Banal's fourth point. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, Willie Pearson ran the 100 meters there. I don't know how fast Finger, but he was he was in his front court and he saw that the pass was given by Abbott to Willie for that fast break and he was able to run down court and foil that. And what's amazing about that speed, Pearson has been doing it from the start of this ball game. That's right. He's really in shape. And against Willie Henerolawa, who's very quick too, very fast. And pass going to Padin, quick release. Oh, pass again to Badin, giving it very quickly to Kidaven. Last yeah. shot from Abbott for his 20th point. So that's what they need, but then they'll really have to concentrate on their defense now. It'll have to be a scrambling, hustling defense. And Brown, he's got eight assists in the ball game. King providing the pick. Here is Pearson. Alonor comes up with a big offensive rebound. He challenged Kidaven. You know what's interesting also in this match is that we've got two potential most valuable player awardees for this year, Abed Gidabin and Ricky Brown. Not to mention uh, Freddy Ubalde could be one of them. That's another aspect of this ball game. Yeah. And a home run pass going to Alunor. The ninth assist coming from Ricardo Brown tonight. Mm -hmm. One more assist and five more rebounds. Ricardo Brown will be in for a triple-double tonight. Time is 5-34. and 92-86. Great day's coffee. Alonor's down on the floor. Hobalde is open. Here is Kidabin under the basket, giving it to Padim. Varela. Joe Cantada will be happy to know that Varela is nearing his 1,000 point in 10 seasons as a pro. So that should be good news for Joe. <laughs> Four points for Varela, all happening here in the fourth quarter. Got a tough assignment on Ricardo Brown. Tap. Good move, good thinking on the part of Alonor. Abe King sailing.